To witness the wetness, this is Innuendo Bingo. Quite keen to make it a wet one today. The music's scarier than the actual game, I think. Okay, so how it works is you put as much water as you can in your mouth and uh, and then hopefully the innuendos will make you laugh. <laughs> we've got plenty of water over there, so we should, we're all we good got, to go, I think. Do you know what? I think we've got a record amount of water here. There's, there's loads. We sometimes run out, so, because that's why. Is your watch waterproof? It is, yeah. Okay, good. It's the world's smallest watch. I know everybody says that. <laughs> okay, water, please. Loads of it. Let us know if you're watching today, maybe on a break from Revision. Okay, let's first go over to BBC Radio 4 on In You and a Bingo with Soak. Now, a man with a wonderfully gravelly voice is reading from a novel. And as we join the story, one of the characters is about to give a gift, although I'm not quite sure she's chosen to store it in a particularly sensible place. That's very nice, she said. And look, I'm going to give you a little keepsake too just between you and me. It was a small silver box that she drew from her muff. <laughs> well, you know, each to their own. It was a small silver box that she drew from her muff. <laughs> what a soothing voice. Mm. And we're off, here we go. Next, we really need to talk about the last few nights spring watch because so many emails have been coming in about spring watch. Uh, Chris Packett, water please. Chris Packett has been very busy. It's certainly been a blowy day. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. It's certainly been a blowy day. But what really is exciting, uh, the rest of the Spring Watch team, is the chance of capturing on camera something that will be a proper sight for sore eyes. Here we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. All set and ready for tonight, and hopefully tomorrow I will get my first glimpse of a truly wild beaver. <laughs> oh, okay, it's getting wetter now. <laughs> Pretty bracing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Make sure, like, just spray him next time. Oh, God. Because it's gone in your face now. It's gone right in your face. However, mm. it's no wonder so many of you are hooked on Spring Watch this week, and that's why we're getting so many emails when they make promises like this. Anyway, come back tomorrow for the next instalment of our beaver extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> You'd watch that. Beaver extravaganza. So we will go back to Spring Watch to see how the extravaganza is going in just a minute. But first, we're going to BBC Radio 2. You can refill water if you want or put more in. Over on two, Simon Mayo manages to slip away a very personal question in the middle of a quite ordinary chat with a caller. Where are the fireworks, John? Uh, at the marina here. Oh, OK. Yeah. So, are you going with anyone special or are you just uh, going to go down on yourself? Uh, I hope my girl's going to ride. There we go. There we got the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you adding in your own laugh? It's like, it's like friends or something. If, if, Soak do, if Soak doesn't laugh, I'll just put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put the noise of a, a dolphin in. That's okay. So, are you going with anyone special or are you just uh, going to go down on yourself? Simon so Mayer there on uh, BBC Radio 2. <laughs> okay, let's uh, refill our waters and go back to just yesterday on Test Match Special. And it's all change in the commentary booth over there. Yorkshire's favourite son, Geoffrey Boycott, is staying on, but he's about to be joined by Alison Mitchell. So you'll hear Alison at the microphone. Now, you'll be able to hear from Jeff's quite excited voice that he and Alison get on really, really well. Actually, really well. I'm going to leave you because your friend Alison's coming in. Ah, Ali Bob's out. I've seen her today. Oh, hey, Ali, this is a long time. The captain's actually got you to God's country to do a bit of commentary, <laughs> huh? Just to speak to Adam a bit more often to get you up here. OK, right, so we seem to have a problem now where it's... innuendo hasn't even happened yet and um, we've got, like, water features coming out of both of their mouths. Let's try and get to the end of it, shall we? Water, please. Let's refill. Oh. I'm going to leave you because your friend Alison's coming in. Ah, oh. Ali Bob's out. I've seen her Come today. on, put the water in. Oh, hey, Ali, this is a long time. The captain's actually got you to God's country to do a bit of commentary. Huh? 
If to speak to Adam a bit more often to get you up here. Greetings, Geoffrey. Hello, love. If you invite me around for dinner again, like you did last night, I might come more often. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Alison Mitchell there. Greetings, Geoffrey. Hello, love. If you invite me around for dinner again, like you did last night, I might come more often. There's a promise. <laughs> now, more water, please. It's pretty wet there now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Alison Glastonbury says, I'm watching on a revision break. Yes, soak is so cute. Lewis in South Wales is living the high life, sat in his car, watching Inuna Bingo on his phone whilst eating a uh, quarter pounder, Lush. Mm, mm. Next on Inuda Bingo, let's get to the head of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde, of course. Now, Christine has to travel the world as part of her job, which means she can comment on the latest international trends. In all regions of the world, actually, the fastest and deepest penetration is to be found in Africa and Asia. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone would know, it would be Christine Lagarde. The fastest and deepest penetration is to be found in Africa and Asia. That's from a speech about worldwide mobile phone penetration, of course. Mm. Water, please. Right. Probably Sorry, it's so wet. Time to go back to Spring Watch for... The next instalment of our beaver extravaganza. Now, every wildlife expert would love to be invited onto Spring Watch. But no one more than this next guy. Make sure you've got a lot of water here. This is a good one. They've made this guy's dreams come true. It was a golden opportunity for entomologist Clive Turner to investigate something fascinating. Now, he'd been wanting to do this for years. And he is, yes, hoovering the beaver. <laughs> 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 Actually hoovering it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is one of my faves. <laughs> Water, please. Oops. Refill. <laughs> And he is, yes, hoovering the beaver. <laughs> We've all thought about it, but a few of us get the chance. Mm. <laughs> Especially on national television. Mm. You, you know who else loves uh, waterborne mammals, Chris? <laughs> it's the best question. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Christine Lagarde. <laughs> A particular lover of waterborne mammals. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you're soaked. It's okay. Good morning. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to lose it now. I'm sorry. You've gone weird. I've gone really weird. Oof. <laughs> A lover of waterborne mammals. <laughs> Is <laughs> Chris? <laughs> Poor girl. I'm so sorry, Soak. <laughs> that was a bad one. That was a really bad one. You just exploded. Okay. OK, here we go. Carol Kirkwood, off of BBC Weather, is uh, a lover of the thing I just said. And <laughs> here she is, reading out a tweet from a viewer. Something that made me laugh this morning was, I just had a tweet from Alan in North Yorkshire who says, where he is, it's wetter than an otter's pocket. <laughs> 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 Oh, I don't think Carol um, quite understood. It's wetter than an otter's pocket. Never heard that before. Otter's pocket. Pocket. Yes, that's really good. It made me laugh, and it is too. <laughs> good morning, and good morning to you. Good morning, Carol. <laughs> oh, I love Carol so much. Okay, uh, we've got mm. just a couple more. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I keep playing that by mistake. Okay. Um, now we are going over to the Today programme on Radio 4. It's a classic. You're right there, so Still loving it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now I wonder if this... Chris, Chris, what is wrong with you? What happened? <laughs> what? Come on. Has Carol set you off? Yeah, Has Carol. <laughs> It's wetter than an otter's pocket. Here we go. So, uh, here we go. Ready? Ready. Now, ready for today. I wonder if this newspaper actually meant to print this particular picture of Mr David Cameron. The dominant picture from that joint appearance with Mr Clegg and Essex shows the Prime Minister jack it off. <laughs> 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 Not normally how you see him in the papers. Six shows the Prime Minister, jacket off. Taking his, taking his jacket off there. And, um, and finally... Right, last one. Finally, here we go. Just to make sure Soak is truly soaked, let's play her maybe the greatest innuendo bingo clip of all time. Water, please. Get him because he's far too dry. <laughs> We're going over to going over to Crime Watch Roadshow to hear about a very busy horse. <laughs> Chris, he's heard this one before. Mm. Come on, a very busy horse. Chris, sorry. This sometimes happens where he can't continue. Come on. He's been a police horse for about... Is it going out the side of your mouth now. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on grow are you annoyed up. with yourself now? Grow you are, up. aren't you? Everyone grow up. Everyone just grow up. Oh. <laughs> grow up! <laughs> Have you heard this game? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not it. <laughs> Oh, okay. Come Here we on. Go. A very busy police horse on Crime Watch Road Show. He's been a police horse for about 12, 13 years. He's very busy. We know that he polices pop concerts, huge crowds. What else does he do? Yeah, he was in Rihanna last night. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Soak. Are you okay? Is that a shower? Oh, well it played. It is like a shower. And that was well played. Well played. It takes your breath away a bit. Yeah, he was in Rihanna last night. <laughs> Thank you, Soak, for coming in. That was a truly epic Indiana Bingo. Thanks so much. Thank you.